Imagine knowing about dinosaurs, planets, or even how honeybees look. All of this knowledge is waiting for Muhammad Mudassir, the fun-loving son of Mr. Abdul Rahman and Mrs. Nabila. In a world where the competition is fierce and the challenge is a molding, it is necessary to raise to the top. He is always ready for the challenges. He is a true beacon of perseverance and excellence as he has fought his way to the finals. He is a sum up of passion, dedication, and unwavering determination. Mudassir, it is your chance to show the world who you are. A reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. But the man who never reads lives only once. Respected teachers, parents, and my dear friends, today I want to talk to you about something truly magical the wonderful world of reading. Now, I know that we all have our favorite games to play and cartoons to watch, but have you ever thought about the magic? that happens when you open a book? First of all, I would like to mention some renowned world leaders. They were well known for their avid reading habits, which molded them and contributed for the leadership Abraham Lincoln, the ever remember American president, who was well known for his self-education through extensive reading and love for literature. Winston Churchill. The British Prime Minister during Second World War, who was a prolific reader with a diverse library. His strategic thinking was influenced by a wide range of subjects. Mahatma Gandhi, father of our nation, who was committed to nonviolence. He drew inspiration through reading from various religious texts and philosophical works. Thomas Jefferson, one of the founding fathers of the United States. His extensive library and intellectual pursuits contributed to his leadership. Theodore Roosevelt, another president of the United States, who was well famous for his state and international policies. His intellectual curiosity and wide-ranging subjects contributed to his leadership style. And the last, but not the least, Nelson Mandela, the face of anti-apartheid movement and the first president of South Africa, who was a West reader. He embraced literature, philosophy, and political theory during his imprisonment, which influenced his approach to leadership during post-apartheid period. In general, these leaders' commitment to reading played a significant role in their intellectual development and leadership abilities. Reading is like opening a door to a world full of adventure, imagination, and knowledge. Imagine being a pirate sailing the high seas, a detective solving mysteries, or even a wizard casting spells. All of this is possible through the power of reading. Firstly, reading helps our brain grow stronger, just like how exercise makes our body strong. When we read, we are like little explorers, discovering new words and ideas that makes our mind stronger and more creative. Have you ever come across a word that you didn't know and you asked your teacher about it? That's your brain going. Not only reading just makes our brain stronger, it also takes us on incredible adventures. You can travel to faraway lands, meet fascinating characters, and experience things that you might never get to do in real life. Have you ever been so captivated by a story that you forgot about everything else around you? That's the magic of reading, transporting you to different worlds, even if it's just for a little while. Books are like portals to other dimensions, and you hold the key every time you open one. But reading isn't just about stories. 
It's also about learning. Imagine knowing about dinosaurs, planets, or even how honeybees work. All of this knowledge is waiting for you in books. In conclusion, my friends, reading is like opening a door to a world full of adventure. It will make our brain stronger, takes us on incredible adventures, and helps us learn so many interesting things. So the next time when you have a book in your hand, remember you're not just reading words, you're opening a door to a world of magic. Reading will make you mentally strong and confident. It will develop our analytical thinking and leadership qualities. Happy reading to you all. Thank you. Imagine knowing about dinosaurs, planets, or even how honeybees work. All of this knowledge is waiting for you in books. In conclusion, my friends, reading is like opening a door to a world full of adventure. It will make our brain stronger, takes us on incredible adventures, and helps us learn so many interesting things. So the next time when you have a book in your hand, remember you're not just reading words, you're opening a door to a world of magic. Reading will make you mentally strong and confident. It will develop our analytical thinking and leadership qualities. Happy reading to you all. Thank you.